justice for us all. I am proud and honored to be with you. Leaders, essential workers, and fighters for justice. Our strong, compassionate SEIU family. Our conventions are a special space. We challenge and learn from each other, build power together, and draw energy we need from each other to stay in the fight. It's hard not to be together in person. I want to give the California childcare workers a high five for winning their union. I want to hug every school support worker who went on strike, every janitor, fast food worker, nursing home worker who went on strike, who's been in the streets. I want to dance the electric slide and sing with you and pray together with all of you. And I know because of the strength, resilience, and determination of every member of this union, we will do that again. These are strange and uncertain times. We are all holding so much grief and sorrow, rage and fire, but also hope. We have hope that comes from being a part of something bigger than ourselves, being a part of a union, our movement. We have hope that we can make change. We can build power and win justice because we've done it before. I have hope because of all of you. Every day I see the members of this union do extraordinary things. Doctors, nurses, hospital and nursing home workers on the front lines of this pandemic. Home care and child care workers caring for our loved ones, school support staff, janitors, food service workers, and all our public sector workers who get called into work, whether there's a hurricane or a snowstorm or a pandemic. Workers who keep our country safe, keep our countries fed, keep our countries running. It is your determination, courage, and resilience that gives me hope. We know our governments have failed to deliver what we need. The President of the United States sows chaos, handing over $3 trillion to corporations and the wealthy instead of protecting everyone. COVID spread out of control and 173,000 people in our countries have lost their lives. But we won't let failed national leadership keep us from doing what needs to be done. Bonita Munoz, a home care worker and local 2015 leader, is determined to vote and to make sure everyone she knows votes, texting more than 100,000 voters to elect a president who will keep us safe. Corporations are using the national crisis for their own gain, to continue the cycle of exploitations, to force wages down, to keep workers in poverty. McDonald's wants to use Black Lives Matter to sell burgers, but deny workers sick pay and health care. But when her McDonald's manager told Angelie Lambert to use a dog diaper as a mask, she went on strike and joined a wave of strike actions and protests with workers from Amazon to Whole Foods and more, demanding personal protective equipment to stop needless death. Violence and brutality are directed against black workers and their communities. The murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and too many others spurred international uprisings with millions protesting in the streets and online. Like Marcos Aranda, a member of Local 87, who joined 1,500 janitors on strike to win racial and economic justice as a part of the strike for black lives. Latinx and other immigrant workers are forced to stay in the shadows, 
the government terrorizes families with forced separation. Asian Pacific Islander workers are attacked with racism and xenophobia that starts in the White House. Indigenous and native workers are exploited on land stolen from their ancestors. LGBTQ workers are discriminated against. Women are paid less and harassed. Workers with disabilities are treated without dignity. But every day, members of this union fight back, and we have hope and fire, and we demand a reckoning. It's time to disrupt centuries of racism and colonialism, generations of corporate exploitation, and decades of anti-union attacks. It's time to build a just and equitable world, and that is what we're gonna do together. We are in this together. We are uniting our fights, and we are not gonna be divided by race, by gender, by zip code, or country of origin. We are not going to choose between higher wages to feed our families and health care to keep them well, between a safe and humane immigration system so no child is ever in a cage again, and action on climate change so every child has clean water to drink. We are not going to choose between economic justice and racial justice. We won't accept economic gains for only some workers that divide us and reinforce structural racism. We're not going to choose because we are going to build power together to win justice in all of these fights for all of us. Because we know that until black workers can thrive, none of us can thrive. Because we know that when black people are free, all of us will be free. Latinx, Asian, indigenous, and white. I spoke recently with Sonia Ogburn, a building service manager, a proud janitor, and member of Local 500 in Maryland. She told me that when she was a little girl, her mother took her with her brothers and sisters to buy ice cream cones. When they got to the store, the shopkeeper wouldn't serve them ice cream because Sonia and her family are black. Sonia told me, I've had a lot of ice cream cones since then but I still want that one. I am committed to fighting for a future where no black girl will ever be told that she can't have an ice cream cone, where every black child will get the same resources in school as the wealthiest white child, where the world is as safe for every black person as it is for me where every black, brown, and Asian Pacific Islander family has the same opportunity to thrive that I have. I want you to know that as a white woman leading a multiracial organization, I will use every ounce of my being, all of my heart and soul, to make sure we are an anti-racist organization driving an anti-racist agenda. Not just to say it, but to do it. And I have hope because I know you're with me. This is our moment. Our time is now. We have to seize it with all the strength and courage we have. We have to push away our doubts and fears, just as we always have just as we were taught by the generations who came before us that dreamed of a better world. We can prevail against insurmountable odds and win big changes in our lifetime. I know we are weary. I know it's been stressful, turbulent time. But I know us, and we get tougher when the heat is on. I know we can dig deep and decide we are not giving up or giving in until we win. 
I know we can win the right for every single person to vote freely and safely. We can stop voter purges. We can end racist gerrymandering. And we can win a path to citizenship for 11 million undocumented people so that everyone has a full voice in our democracy. I know we can elect progressive champions up and down the ballot and send Joe Biden to the White House this November. 45,000 childcare workers in California just won their union after fighting for 17 years. Let's win unions for every single care worker, airport worker, cleaning and security worker, and hospital worker. Nursing home workers in Pennsylvania walked off the job for personal protective equipment and won union recognition in three weeks. Let's make it possible for every nursing home worker in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico to join a union in the next three years. Let's make sure that every fast food worker can sit down at a national bargaining table with McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King like workers do in other nations around the world. Now is the time for every single essential worker, everyone who keeps us clean, safe, and fed during this crisis to have a seat at the table with corporations and government to win the personal protective equipment and the hazard pay, the sick days, the health care coverage, and $15 an hour that everybody deserves. Now is the time for unions for all to make service and care jobs the foundation of the most inclusive multiracial middle class North America has ever seen. We can make it happen if we use the determination, the power, the grit, and the hope that makes our union so great. We will build power. We will win justice. Because when we organize together, when we fight together, when we hope together, we win.